Today we're visiting a temporal radioactive vehicle storage site just to the west of Pripyat. It was used to temporarily store radioactive, highly contaminated robots and manipulators and everything. Most of the stuff has been removed in something like 2000 and brought to, for example, Buyakivka, if highly contaminated, or to other waste deposit sites. But uh, some stuff remains there. What is it? Also was some man manipulator. Mm, okay. Maybe not so much, but both cool. Yeah, open alpha. Oh, much more if I open this. There must be a lot of uh, weak beaters or yes, weak beaters, not alpha. Lots of radioactive objects are still scattered around, some bigger, some smaller. Huh. I made a difference. Yeah. Oh, top side? Yeah. 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 Well, it seems like a piece of the, the claw, maybe, because it has the same coloring on it. Yeah, it's also contaminated. Not here, but on that side. Not so much, but... Yeah, you can also find plenty of hot particles here. Yeah, it's probably just very small. Yeah, yeah. it's very, very confined, so it's probably very small particle. But that spot isn't too hot. Let's check out another one. But here, too much more. Mm. Not the gamma scan. Gamma scan seems here more. Right here, here, yeah, here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How much? Uh, seven, seven hundred something, yeah. This, I think. About three thousand times normal background radiation. Not too bad. Yeah, so here. Three. Yeah, seems young. Maybe it's, it's uniform, but... But this still reads a lot. Still, it's only the size of sand grain, so very hard to locate. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> I don't understand. Okay, I just remove all of this. Hmm. Yeah? Strange, but level um, a bit, a bit less. Hmm. Oh, look, it's here. Now it's here. Yeah. Well, then you just separate the pile into two chunks, measure each, see where it still is, and uh, repeat. See if it's still here. Yeah. Okay. So it's in this. Ah, I think maybe I see it. Let's see it. Yeah. Yeah, I think I saw it. It's still small. I didn't fully separate it. We're gonna find a much bigger one later on. For now, let's check out the crane claw here. This was used in the initial days after the accident in order to clean up all that debris and decontaminate the area of sorts. But, as expected, this thing got quite contaminated. A little bit on the outside, but of course most of the contamination is on the inside. Now you can see uniform levels of contamination a few thousand times background radiation. That beep is my watch, my dosimeter watch, which is warning me of high levels of radiation. Still, a lot of the initial contamination has decayed or washed off, 
So this is but a tiny fraction of the initial activity that was on this manipulator crane claw. Mm -hmm. oh. I wonder if this is engraved in it or if it's possible to to rub it off, try. or if it's uh, deep uh, buried in this stuff. Oh, wow. Okay, so it's still, even though the rain was inside and all the time. So if you've seen the video of the guy crawling into this crane claw and sitting inside it, he probably got quite dirty clothes during that process. <laughs> 